You look at a harness race, you watch uh, the drivers working hard or not working so hard, perhaps, as in the case of that uh, filly that we saw win that race. It's a challenge driving, something that I discovered recently. I have ridden horses quite a lot, but I have never driven them. So at Delvin Miller's farm in Pennsylvania recently, I talked to driver Sherry Keith about how to drive a horse and she gave me some instructions on how you drive a harness horse it's something that i had never done before here's what sherry had to tell me the first thing you should know is you don't want to crash <laughs> it's easy here because there's nothing to crash into but if you're at a raceway you have to be sure you're not hitting any other horses or any equipment on the on the track at so the time. So I have to look around to you make sure. To look around. It's there. Yeah. And if you have a nice sized colt like this one, you have to make sure you're looking around the sides because you can't always see over top. Okay. You want to take a nice light hold of your horse. And you do have him held lighter than if he was a riding horse. You would oh, have yes. more contact with a riding uh -huh. horse. You want a nice light contact. You want the horse to be willing to move forward. The most important thing this horse is going to do in his career is move forward. And so you want him very willing to move on. Mm -hmm. And you always want to keep your horses with a nice soft mouth. You don't want to ever want to abuse them with the bit in your, their mouth. You don't want to discourage him from oh, going now, forward when he should be. You want to keep him as happy as possible. You want him to like being out here. Okay. <laughs> He's, to be an athlete, he's going to have to spend many hours and many miles going around these circles, and you have to keep his attitude as good as possible. Uh, a horse with a bad attitude uh, doesn't make a good racer. All right, you are, are flipping the whip at him. You're not hitting him in any way to sting him, No, though. mostly what you use the whip for is just a cue, a train you want him to feel that, to know that he's to move forward, to keep his attention. It's so much different than riding when you can use your legs on a horse mm -hmm. that he's uh, mostly listening to the lines and to the whip. You want to try? Sure, why not? Now, um, okay. uh, you hold on to the whip. I'll hold the whip. Do I hold the reins similarly to if I was riding? I mean, I would just sort of... The way to hold the lines is you want to put them between your middle okay. finger and your index finger like that. Okay. With your thumb over top. Okay. That way, someday when you're driving your horse, you can hold your stopwatch in this hand. Oh, I see. Oh, excellent. <laughs> and your whip will be in that hand, and you'll be well equipped. Okay. So I do need to steer him. Drive him home so. in the stretch, and to and you want okay, to now, sure yes, to he wants the, he wants to go the, into the gap here and, and they finish always the day. want to head out the gate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One thing to notice: uh, anywhere near a gate. Yeah. All right. And the young horses, they drift around a little. You have to, like I say, keep their attention. Keep them headed in the right direction because they are just babies. Okay, now slow them down a little, just pull, but uh, not, but not, not hang down, on. Just ease on him a little bit and he'll come right to you. Easy, easy. I'm feeling easy. a little nervous Say about letting him. Say hello to his buddy next door. <laughs> He's doing fine. You're doing fine. He's, he's very enthusiastic. This is nice to know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Want to go around again? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. No, come yeah, on. Don't on. Stop watch. You ready for your yeah, work? Yeah, I am. <gasps> we need more women in this sport. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this, no. Sherry. No, I'm glad. Yeah, we'll get him over here to the outside, Lil. Come on, boy. Well, Stanley, believe it or not, that was only a yearling colt, a uh, bonefish Never mind the yearling colt. I think with Shantz and Abatella, we're both in trouble here. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was great fun. It looks like And it was, it was a remarkably good, well-behaved colt. And just after that, I drove a yearling filly by myself by Arndon. I heard all about it, and I heard you did great. Well, I'll tell you, I just fell in love with that filly. She'd probably like a $50,000 filly or more, and I couldn't afford her. I wish I could. So that is a little look at driving. I had a good time. Kenny Rice has had